Mama G, thank you so much for uh, you know handling today's workshop. I know that the turnout was not what you expected. However, from getting the views from the people that attended, they really got something out of it. When you started the workshop, was it disappointing for you to find out that no one has actually had the physical copy of this protocol? To be quite honest with you, I am disappointed because immediately when the protocol was approved, we printed and we sent each and every uh, province some copies to further distrib distribute to their district. And as we go around to district, this is the indication that we Re, re, receive to say that people it's for the first time that they are receiving and it's disappointing really because we know for a fact that these are the issues that schools are struggling with so this could be one contribution amongst the rest that could actually uh, assist schools in better managing issues that uh, relate to sexual abuse and harassment now, listening to some of the attendees' questions, there were some very pertinent questions that they asked. Some of them, you were very blatantly honest to say, I do not know. Do you feel that this is a societal issue more than just it being a departmental issue? Of course, it is a societal issue. And by the fact that our schools are not in isolation with our communities. So whatever that uh, transpires in our communities is likely to affect the, our schools either negatively or positively. So yeah, I'm not really surprised that these are the issues that they raise, but um, I'm really trying to be honest when I'm dealing with these issues because, you know, it doesn't help to be diplomatic about them because you are dealing with the lives of people here. And the more you being honest with uh, the questions that they raised, the better for me. Do you feel that the point of um, these issues, I mean, we talk about um, sexual abuse issues, we talk about GPV issues, um, these are just not um, a department-based issues. There's other departments, even within the, the government sphere, that you know contribute. You spoke about some of the agencies that the department works with. Do you feel that people are really using these services, or from today are going to be alerted of some of these stages and some of these uh, government bodies that they need to go to? I think from today, they, some of them are going to be alerted to identify and begin to utilize some of their services. But some of them might be away, you know, with other sister departments that we need to work with, but also some other, you know, uh, Chapter 9 institutions and even just civil society organizations that uh, we also appreciate so much to be working with to assist our schools in dealing with these issues. Mama D, lastly, this is one of these interventions that you are doing for awareness and advocacy. Mm. How far reaching are these programs and do you still feel that there's still a lot of work that has to be done in our country or the work has already been done on the ground, we just need to you know, touch base there and there in some districts particularly? To be quite honest with you, we haven't even begun. Sure. In my opinion, we haven't even begun in assisting districts. How I wish I can replicate myself to be nine people so that I know in each province at least there is a person. But we keep on, you know, advocating and capacitating even our provincial office so that they are then able to carry on cascading the information. Even into the districts, we do have some cadre in particular provinces where we have capacitated districts to keep on, you know, uh, uh, raising and capacitating all the other relevant structures that are within our schools around these issues. So the more the merrier and as constantly as it can be done, I think we should get there in the future. But for now, we haven't even scratched the surface. Sure. All the best, Mama D. Thank uh, you. Hope you, hopefully you'll get there soon. Thank you. Thank